Hey, how's it going everyone? Michael back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a list in a Microsoft team. So if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe. I put out Microsoft Teams videos, SharePoint, Power Automate, and now I'll eventually get to Power BI and Power Apps. But right now we're sticking with the simple stuff. All right, so to start creating a list in a team, we need a team. So I'll be using the marketing team in this example, and I'll just be sticking with the general channel so to create the list you want to click on the plus icon and it will highlight the add a tab and then you can see list right here but if you don't see it go ahead and type list and it'll be the first one that comes up all right select save to finish adding list to the channel so I'm press save so I can add the list so we have two options right here we can create a list or we can add an existing list so if we had an existing list in the marketing team already um, or on the SharePoint, we could just put this and make it show in the section up here. But I want to create a new list, so let's click on this one. I have a few more options. We can create a blank list, so list will have no columns already besides the title column. We can uh, make a list from an Excel file. Uh, sometimes this can get buggy if your Excel isn't really formatted right, so take caution on that one. And we can also create from an existing list. So. All the teams or SharePoints I am connected to, I can create a copy of that list and make a duplicate over here. It won't copy all the uh, all the items in the list, but if you want to do that, feel free. So let's go back to create a list. And then also, um, Microsoft also does provide a few templates down below. So as you can see, they have a, it looks like 13 different examples and your example that you want to do might actually be in here. So I'd recommend actually maybe using one of these lists. Uh, let me check out recruitment tracker. So this is just the example. Let me zoom out real quick. So it will give you all these template columns. So candidate name, position, progress, recruiter. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks great. I might actually use this if I was in HR because it gives you all the columns you really need. If you don't need any of the columns, you can feel free to remove it but it's a good starting point to begin with. So I'll go ahead and click on the back button and we will actually create a new list, a blank list. So let's say I wanted to make a Christmas list for my family. Uh, gifts. So I want to track all the gifts I get for my family. You could choose a color. I'll choose red because it stands out and I will actually choose the robot icon because it looks pretty cool. All right, so as you can see on the template, it pretty much like replicates what you'd see online with the SharePoint list. And so let me just create a few comps. So the title, I'll switch this to family member. I'll add a comp, you can add a comp right here. So if you wanna add more comps to your list, you can click on this icon right here and it will give you all the different options. So single line, uh, gift, description, uh, no description. Uh, I don't want to contain information. Because maybe I didn't already get my gift number. Uh, we will actually say this is dollar amount, so money spent. Automatic. Uh, and that looks good to me. So it's just a real simple list, so I'll give you a little test case. So let's go ahead and click on new. So we have a family member, let me, uh, we take mom. Let's say I'm getting her a new pot, pots and pan set. And I spent, let's say I spent $140 on the pot pan set. So as you can see, it makes a nice little item for me. And yeah, you can change the views over here. You create new views if you want. And yeah. So if you do actually want to go into SharePoint, because right here, while you're working with the Teams environment, you have limited options of customization. If you actually want to open this in SharePoint, go ahead and click on this triple dot up here and open in SharePoint. And then let me open it on my second monitor. So as you can see, it also does create a list in your SharePoint as well. So that's where it's saved. That's where it's stored. If you go in the site contents on your SharePoint. So it's the marketing SharePoint. I'm working on the marketing team. Uh, I can click on Christmas list and it'll show my list right here. Then you have all the other options up here and go into the settings. So list settings 
and you have all the different options up here. So you can really get into uh, customization on the SharePoint and it will actually show in the list in your Microsoft Teams application. So that's just a quick little example of how you can create a list within a Microsoft Team. I prefer doing it in SharePoint, but if your team members like doing it in Teams, here's a good little example for you. So feel free to like, subscribe, comment. If you have any video ideas, leave them in the comments and I will catch you in the next one.